same Captain Falcon that dropped the game to some rando Palutena. I don't, I don't know about this one coming out from Kaba, but even on PS2, um, this is definitely hard because Falcon does not have a lot other than hitting with their shield. So Mega Chad could definitely play this very defensively and just get a lot of these out of his shield and just nickel and dime Kaba to death. But Mega Chad not looking uh, like he wants to do that. <laughs> he is a full force going in right now. Mega Chad's got the ledge trap going up with Chef. Reads that jump from Kaba, gets him back off stage. There is no jump here on Kaba Easy. He is making it back. Sometimes you just gotta walk out. Press back here. Still good damage here for Mega Chad, but I mean, Kaba, if he gets just one Falcon combo, can just delete that in a sec. Already. Oh! Follow him all the way down. Kaba Easy getting the down air. 57% on Mega Chad before time of death. Mega Chad trying to get a spike of his own, but that's gonna just give Kaba the stage control back. Mega Chad letting these up smashes rip. Mega Chad has way too many syllables. I'm gonna just start calling him MC. Kaba right now kind of putting the work here on this game and watch. Now here's one thing I want to say about this matchup. This is this is obviously from um, what I've heard and seen, Falcon's number one worst matchup. However, um, Kaba's done really well in this matchup in the past, and he also has, has a uh, Paracane money match win. I feel like he's starting off as Falcon to like half prove a point and half just like try to like really outplay Mega Chad here, but this matchup is still incredibly lost, but he's doing a good showing. Mega like, Chad finally uh, finding some work here. I'll say Mega Chad is like, Mega Chad could be playing a lot more defensive because Kaba kind of was forced to swing on shield then, but yeah. Mega Chad is a little bit of a inholder right now. Yeah, I'm really liking how he's moving around Kaba's defenses right now, but at the same time, this is starting to backfire if you're a Kaba fan right now. What's the ledge trap though? Down tilt? Ooh, he wanted it. But like, Mega Chad could just pop that instant up the end. It's just so free. I'm gonna kick through all those bombs right here. I mean, Mega Chad is uh, very prone to hanging on ledge. Catch what a roll read! Down, okay, right? okay, Kaba. Mega Chad's pretty prone to uh, hanging on ledge, so Kaba is looking for something else if he's going for uh, ledge trips. His down throw might lead to a lot of damage. Has the read on the Yeah, he was waiting for the upbeat just so that he didn't have to take uh, anything or he could just keep pushing his advantage and play for the, uh, the upbeat out of shield from Game Watch. But Mega Chad decided to hold the trigger. Yo, did you see that movement off the platform? That was kind of cool. Okay, good pivot grab. Back here, not gonna get the launcher hitbox. Oh shit! Okay, single hit near knee. The Kaba Easy Classic. And Mega Chad, not happy about that one. As Kaba takes the first game. I mean, Mega Chad died at 50 there. I mean, it is game one you were playing game and watch. You have to expect that to happen. Okay, anyone would have died at 50 where Mega Chad was. Facts. He was like three inches from the blast zone and got Falcon dared. Yeah, that's crazy how he just got the one. Oh, wait. Oh, Battlefield left open. Now, this is probably Mega Chad's best stage for this. But yep. we're going to see a switch. Yep. Okay. I got hit by I was going to say, there better be a switch. I left Kaba. PS2 open game two. Oh, okay. And then he went to Mario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's playing for the stage as well, which is good to see. And we are hopping into game numero dos. And there's the Nair. Yeah, because this is so rough. Because this is basically like if Kaba lost game one and got his counter pick. Except he won. Yeah, except he's got the one game to work with. So he has the momentum in his side. Mega Chad's got to reset that. Kaba also has the character choice to swing it around. And I don't think we've seen the Mario game watch in a serious set yet. So this is really exciting to uh, see this. Right now, the Game Watch is uh, not doing too bad at fending off this Mario. No, but Kaba's trying to find that way down. Remember, he does have that cape. Yep, it will turn around the up airs, just as we saw there. But that's only really going to do so much because up air has such limited range. Oh, and there pressure, goes the chair. 19 attacks per second that Game & Watch can do. Yeah, Game & Watch is also a character like Mario who can just press so many buttons. Wait! Bye. Uh, Okay then. Great job. I love Smash 4. 
Bro, homie, homie just said, let me, let me even this up for free. He said he doesn't need it. He doesn't need it. Yeah, but it's different look like how he's gonna need it once once Kaba gets his hands on, as he does. That'd be such a boon here against these Mario ladder combos. Oh boy. Yeah. Well. Okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> Catches that spot dodge. Big hold on the F smash coming out there from Kaba. Absolutely nasty to go for that charge. He was definitely watching Karama's run at Ludwig's last week, but we know this man's Mario all too well going for all these reads as he gets the clip with the dash attack. I thought he was going to run off Ludwig. He, he could have like caped in there. It would have yeah. just been done, so. Comes down with the No way. There. I was about to say, Game Watch is too light for that to work, but that would be really cool. Okay, then. He just doesn't want to play the game My anymore. My man needs to Listen, get you know. <laughs> It, it just wasn't his time, you know? It just wasn't his time. That's how I felt when I played him. I was just like, yeah, I'm just, I'm not in it today. I don't know. But just a couple flubs, which is unfortunate to say the least for Mega Chad. But yeah. there's still potentially three more games to work with. Did well, we go back to Battlefield? We would have liked Kaba to just press A and let his damage dealt hang on the screen there for a second. Because I don't think he did more than like 200 that entire game. Mega Chad. Yeah, no, Mega Chad died at like 30 and 50. And like Kaba killed him at 70 with that forward smash charge. Yeah. They're right back one, here to Battlefield go. Mega Chad, trying to see what he's got up his sleeve here for Kaba. I was talking earlier, has these two met before? In Not in a serious set. I believe this is the first time we are seeing this. Gotcha. Not in a uh, PR event, um, PR eligible event set, no. I think they played once or twice just for funs, but Kaba's been um, focusing on school and other things, so he has not been here as much. This is probably one of his only few tournaments that he's been actually here for PR. Oh, I love the coverage there, going for the fair to catch the jump. Dash attack catches these two frames. He got two of them in a row there. <laughs> Yo, imagine though if he got the nine. All right, here comes a big back throw right there. Mega Chad right back on the ledge. It's interesting. Kabi Easy has been opting to just put Mega Chad on the ledge. Get this, get this flat man off my stage. So true. Now he's got two charges on the bucket there already. So not sure what we're gonna see. Mega Chad's play from the bucket. He might try to try to go offensive with it, or he could hold it for a while, you know. But then you can't absorb any more fireballs. Oh, we went for the air dodge read, but just not gonna get the down air. That was a really good play there. I'm seeing a lot of different things. Cobb has definitely been in the lab for sure. He's not staying rusty like me. <laughs> Gets that back here to beat out Mega Chads and he's up again. Oh, okay. All forms of invincibility going to get that up smash out for Mega Chad. Mega Chad looking pretty close to taking the stock, just committing a little too hard to catching these landings from Kaba. Kaba's really good at like slipping you up, but at the end of the day, he's still got to put his feet on the ground. So if you just follow him till he comes to the ground, I feel that's gonna really help Mega Chad out because he's trying to meet Kaba in the air, and that's been getting Kaba onto the ground. Yeah, I feel like Kaba has some a little bit of the aerial superiority here. Oh no! Oh, are you don't dead? even tell oh, me! Oh my no. god! Yo, what percent did he get hit at? Like 25? Yeah, he was he was in the 20s to 30s. Bro, there's that no way. Man landed from off stage with an up air, and that was just the stock. Oh my god! Man, I love watching this Mario. Just and now he's one stock away e from uh. Four times. Who's his finals? Oh shit, okay, nice up smash by Mega Chad. No, I don't wanna play Mario Party. I, I quit. I, I don't feel like playing Mario Party. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> that aside, I don't know why they're trying to rope me into Mario Party. Okay, is this game? Nah. What do you do here, here, Mega Chad? Like, go for a nine if you get this. Like... Not that. You don't do that. Yeah. Um. Was... You know, that's okay. It, it happens. Rough showing there from Mega Chad. That was.